All right, we're good. Yes, we are live. Hmm? We're live. Why is my mic like this? All right. We're live? Yes. <clears throat> All right, good morning or afternoon, rather, whatever. Last show in studio until the 15th of April, I believe. Whoa. Uh, yes, taking a few weeks off. I'll be in Chicago next week, and then I'll be back here. So Mick messaged me this morning. I forgot to message him back. So we'll f- figure it out with those boys um, maybe the week we get back. We'll have to wait. I have to wait. Suspense. We'll have to wait. Unfortunately, we'll have to wait. I'm hearing a lot of laughs when I walk up the stairs this morning. I'm uh, this afternoon. I feel like everyone's. Did you? Oh, yeah, I heard you guys talking and laughing. Yeah, I feel like you guys are a little fat and happy. Uh, Are you, we laughing? Well, Coleman and John, I don't know. I, I think they feel like they've done their job, you know. Oh. Like they <laughs> you don't, you don't like that. <laughs> well, I mean, they, they, I mean, the porn show last year was great. I sure. thought the porn yeah. show this year was great. Yeah. I mean, I, I mean, the problem? well, I feel like there's one comp. Well. <laughs> You know, I, I, sure, yeah, great. They did a great job, but I mean, it's you like said it was mere days ago. You said they'd be fired <laughs> if anything went wrong. Well, I mean, something went wrong for sure. I mean, we can get. I mean, Still look, here. it was the as I said, the greatest live performer ever. It was best live performance. So that's fine. I'm not here to pat myself on the back. It's fine. It's all the accolades. Crowd was unbelievable. My voice is still basically shot, uh, but it was a great show and a great time. And we'll be back there at some point. <clears throat> I'd imagine probably like, March seems like a good spot for there. I think yearly. Uh... Yeah. So, I mean, we can we, we go over all the positives. We, we've seen all those on social media. But I will say, I got several reports saying that Julie and Justin were snippy with each other. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, that was yeah. one of them Justin right there. was a little snippy with everybody, though. Just yeah. he's, he's very nervous. That came from the one Coleman with a personality right there. Chris <laughs> oh, really? Well, I don't know. Inside yeah. source. Well, uh, yeah. <laughs> Is your brother an asshole? No. You seem very standoffish, he's, Mike. No, you know, a little, he's, he's, little he's pompous. On, yeah, is yeah. he just on the spectrum? I don't know. <laughs> it kind of felt like he was doing you a favor. With yeah, the, I got you know that vibe. I, mean? I kind of yeah. came and started a joke with him, and he was yeah. like, "All right," and he just kind of sat in his seat. Yeah, yeah I, I just don't think he wants. Is he a to dick? Like, no, he just didn't want to cross any like. He, he knows mm-hmm. that there's a show going on. He doesn't want to. I was trying to engage with him in conversation a few times, and he was. I was. He was rejecting me. No, he, was, I, he was polite he and chatting with us all day. Oh yeah, not me. Nothing. Oh, you knew I was. That's two alphas going yeah, at that's it. That's true. I suppose that's true. <laughs> he was good. Got a good, got a good pop, which I was grateful about. Yeah, nobody got mad at uh, at his performance at all. So oh, unbelievable. Yeah so, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Chris comes out, uh, Coleman's brother, and starts doing this fire trick, which I didn't know about. I don't think, did I? Did you? I don't, I don't think he, so. He, he was playing with the fire in the green room. Oh, I didn't see that. Yeah, I didn't know if he was going to use it on stage or not. It didn't occur to me, really. Yeah, I couldn't so... Do that. So he, and then the guy who's a very nice guy, the guy from uh, <clears throat> the, the the state theater, other guy Colin didn't hate it, but the other guy, yeah, got the yeah. long hair. What's his name? Uh, Abel, I believe. Abel, yes. yeah. Uh, was like waving his arms, and he literally walked out. Like he's like he's like I'm pulling. He's like I'm ending the show if he does that. And I was like, well, he won't do it again. I don't think he believed us, but he didn't. Oh, he said that to you after because he no, there was an announcement. He said it to me. There was an announcement. Yeah, no like, I could hear in my headphones. Yeah. I, I assume the audience could hear too. Yeah, no fire, like, no, no fire. fire, and people thought it was a joke at <clears> first. <throat> I, I, I didn't. I could tell because I, I mean, obviously, I knew what was going to be in there. What well, wasn't? Um, so once that happened, I was like, "What the fuck is going on here?" And then uh, I could tell he's going to get convicted for <laughs> arson. <laughs> Your brother seemed a little rattled, but then then he settled down, and then he was fine. But yeah, he's a pro. The, but the guy was like, "I'm pulling the plug on the show." That's crazy. It's like a half hour in, I was like, "Oh yeah. shit!" I'll tell you, should have been unbelievable. Who I think may have taken the brunt of the uh, blame for that. Who's that? So I witnessed. That's Julie's at, fault. I, I witnessed afterwards Julie just begging for this guy's forgiveness. Just not Abel? So, not so. Ca- I assume it was him. It yeah. was one of the guys like. But that is her fault, right, afterwards. Justin? Uh, no. Whose fault is it? Probably Chris Coleman. Well, well, but, well I mean, who's in charge of knowing? Well, I mean, shouldn't you guys have said, "What are you doing?" Uh, yeah, we didn't know there would be fire, and then yeah, the, we didn't know that the fire. Yeah, so I guess it was on us. Okay, what were you saying, Mike? So uh, the guys, I I was like the last one left. Justin went to grab his car. Mm-hmm. So I was standing on the stage, and then the guys come out and start working, uh, you know, cleaning shit up. And Julie's out there like, again, by the way, really sorry. But and they're not even speaking. <laughs> they're they're just giving to the complete silent well, treatment. I'm sure they're like, whatever, it's <laughs> over. Like, who cares? <clears throat> they were fine. I talked to them after. They were fine. Oh, good. All right. Because oh. they seemed like they were being like, they were like pissed at her. Well, I'm sure they were. Yeah. I, don't know. I mean, that could be, as we know, it could be a disaster. It would be great to burn those fucking people down, though. <laughs> you said to me I could get out of there. Just inglorious bastards. Yes, just <laughs> lock them up with everyone, including you, and I get out. I'm sold. sold. There is, as I was standing on stage... 
Mm-hmm. Like the last one, I was like, these lights might just go out and I'll just, I just live here now. That's like, true. Maybe no one ever comes <laughs> Who back. Who would know? Yeah. <laughs> um, but no, overall, like big hit. Everything seemed to land pretty well. I was not, Steve and I were outside on the street for the open. So I don't know. It seemed like it landed well, everyone said. Everyone loved it. Yes. Yeah, yeah, good, good, good. And then the uh, show I thought was pretty flawless, I think. I don't think there were a lot of big, you know, it was just a great, the crowd was unbelievable. You could tell right from the start. The crowd was unbelievable. Um, super into it. Great crowd. Pretty packed, I would say, and loud and like ready to go. I don't know if it's the room. It seems so louder than like the Wilbur or definitely Plymouth. louder than Plymouth. Similar yeah. to Wilbur, probably a little louder, but yeah, yeah, definitely louder than. It's just it's just like an old raucous. Plymouth yeah. was like bigger too, like more spacious. Yeah, it's like open. This yeah. place is closed, and you're kind of <clears throat> you're kind of locked in there, and it's. I mean, the place was nuts. No Exit Four was awesome. Uh, I mean, all the videos hit. Jeff's video was Jeff's videos were great. Um. Uh, Big Cats was great. He did a kind of a pretend. Uh, <laughs> all I said to him was like, "I want you to do a podcast where you have it's cancer. It's a stage six podcast." Yeah. And I said, "Um, you know." And the funny thing about stage five guys, like he always was like, "Yeah, I want to do this, but I'm dying." So I was yeah. like, "Just basically, you're dying. That's it. That's it. and then he, he got a guy and got makeup and did that." Um, but you know, when I wrote out what was going to be in the show, it wasn't going to show. At one point, I literally had, as I said, I think I said you segmented pervert block yes which was your video <laughs> and no exit force singing kiss you all over with a <clears throat> video montage in the background of little kids which i had told coleman to do coleman did a good job but every time he said the back to me i was like no we need like a, a kid who died or people, we need a kid it, with down kept syndrome going like yeah. throughout the week i wanted to be uncomfortable and i think it succeeded people afterwards were telling they were like no no, no i think there was like like coleman has legitimate child porn on <laughs> oh, I, I, I think we're close <laughs> Um, and then I said, Coleman, I want to keep it down syndrome. And I want like every, like I want everything possible sure. in there. And I said to him, if there's footage, if there's pictures of Sandy hook, find them. He didn't. I don't think. Well, that, Jesus. Good That's, well, well, Hey, I mean, you, you go in, you go in. But the funny thing is I completely forgot. I met Justin's parents like that afternoon. And they were just sitting. And I was like, Oh, that's right. They're here. <laughs> <laughs> but also Justin knew this video was going to happen. Yeah. What did yeah. your parents, what did your parents have to say? Uh, my parents were like, Oh yeah, we, we, we just, we just kind of hung. They were like, honestly, the only thing that we thought it was a little too long. I was like, oh, you thought it was too long. Yeah, I want it to be like 20 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> yeah. That's where No Exit 4 is great. Like, they just sing it. They see the video back there. Like, they know. And that's why, like, it's a perfect band for us. It's really when I felt, like, that was the moment I realized, like, I'm in every shot. Like, <laughs> and just me yes, standing right, there, not right, nodding right, as right, Justin right, is right, dancing. Right. Yeah, right. <laughs> ah, very funny, though. But, yeah. Um I think what else? What else for you, Colm? Is your first li- real live show experience? What yeah, I think that crowd was just absolutely unbelievable from start to finish. They were hooked, line and sinker. Uh, the performance was just unbelievable. I thought you gave it your all the entire time. Was... What about me? Enough about Mike. What, about, what about my performance? <laughs> the show? I was we got we got electric. We got to figure the mic thing out at some point. I, I, yeah, I, I don't know. So how... I may, if if there's any way, because I could hear them. If we could just switch where I can hear your mic instead of them, because nah, I don't really need to hear I don't them. Think so. No, <laughs> I'm not going to do that. Well, let's that would fix it. Bad. Let's, let's make you work for it. Yeah, right. Right. This is our show mic's like, yep. Can't. We probably should have run through that. Maybe. Guys? I was like, ah, fuck. <laughs> well, they they said we, there's no way of like having a headphone go in through. <clears> like, <throat> we we'll just play. Oh, my boy's a shot. What's that? Through the wireless mic. The wireless mic just right, plays right, through yeah, the system. Right, right. Okay, we'll figure so, it out. But we'll I, I think Mike actually had like probably his best live show performance. I, I yeah. did more. Yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah, we did the the <laughs> Steve Units thing and yeah. the, uh, the no, yeah, and he was able to get in a few one liners. Saw his a dad. Couple. Hmm. Saw his dad. Saw his dad. A lot of <laughs> yes. people thought that was his dad. Many people. Uh, uh, yeah. People I, I really know. People I sure. know. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> We're like, oh, so that was your dad? Yeah. I was like. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I was somebody this morning, like, that's really nice that Mike's dad was there. I was like, yeah, it was nice. It yeah, was nice. it's nice that my dad came on stage, I said, hello, and he walked away. <laughs> like, that's the moment we it's would... It's about go. how it would go, I think. <laughs> that's, that's fair. <laughs> Honestly. That is my persona. Um, and as usual, like, two drunk idiots, just get the fuck out of here. I don't have, I have time for that. My so parent- were they actually kicked out? I couldn't tell. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, it's different, like, it's just different than being in, like, a baseball game or something, or basketball. Like, you can't... If I'm sitting there talking, it's like a comedy show. If somebody's screaming drunk the whole time, like, yeah, get yeah, the yeah. fuck out of here. I don't have time for that. That was smoother than any other interact. Like, it seemed like they got out pretty quickly. Yeah, I was just like, get them out. The <laughs> security was right there. They yeah, yanked okay. them. What were you saying? My parents were behind the second guy. Yeah. And they said, like, everyone was, a, like, you got the biggest pop of the night when you came right. out. Because he yeah. just wouldn't shut the fuck up. I saw one of them tweeted that he was mad, and the other one tweeted he's 
has alcohol issues. So you, per usual, everyone has to weigh in. So, yeah. yeah. Um, <clears throat> and then, yeah. So, uh, obviously Mutt did great. Yes. Battled, battled his, uh, his, uh, shingles, shingles. and got it done. He certainly uh, it was did. A great part of the show. He was, he was very nervous. So it's, very I, was, nervous. I, was, I was happy he did well. It seemed like, yeah. cause he was very nervous, very nervous oh, for weeks. He's been nervous about that, uh, bust a move performance. Yeah. Um, and then Stephen Casey it was obviously a great moment in the show too. Terrific, Steve, unbe- it's just unbelievable. Like Steve absolutely butchering his part, but it was funny. <laughs> <laughs> they reenacted dirty. Oh, people I'm sure have seen on Twitter. They reenacted Dirty Dancing, which I thought was funny. My my favorite of mo- moment of the week is still something I wasn't there for, but it was just hearing about Steve getting Jeff's luggage out of his car. Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> it was all over the place. Even <laughs> out time, autographs. Everywhere we turned around, yeah, everywhere we turned around, Steve was there. He certainly was. Uh, and Casey did a great job, too. A-plus work by them. Um, I'm trying to think what else. What else from you, Justin, or Coleman? Uh, Gus was a big was a big Gus, star. Gus did well. I think... Uh, Gus did well in the open, I, show open. I right, thought right, in right. the video, Gus and Mutt were... I'm sorry, Gus and Mick were very good. Mutt, too. But Gus and Mick, I thought, were very good. Ooh. Like, Steve... I'll tell you what. I'm sorry, Mike. Very... If you know this, is a very... I think for the first time ever, someone inebriated other than the time he called us, Steve Robinson. I think... Julie or someone said he was like hammered when yes. he couldn't, when he couldn't, it took him a while to get on stage. Right. And after the show, he was trying, his weird persona when he's drunk, he's very like belligerent. Oh, is that right? But like he said, angry? He, he said the only, you just tweeted, texted me. The only thing of flop was Mike doing Steve ratings. Ah, so. Which I don't think is true, but, but I would tell you, I don't think I thought it true. did okay. But I, at a certain point I was like, Kirk's not up here anymore, is he? <laughs> yeah, I, I, but, but that's not your fault. Somebody should tell you that. Yeah. I didn't realize that. Justin, there there and, were a couple moments where I was like. Well, Kirky, why don't you weigh in? <laughs> and I was like, oh, he's, he's good. Justin and Coleman have no ability to talk to each other like during a show. What do you mean? Like, the times, sometimes the turnaround, you just both be like, like there's, no, there's no banter, none. To talk to each other. When you, like, when like talk, if I'm not there, like, like then, in that situation. Or even right. when you when you turn to talk to them, you, like, right. you would ask them something, and Justin was like, which video do you want? Yeah, it's like, <laughs> it's like you know, part of this show is we do talk sometimes, too, you know? Yes. Not every show we do here is like the Portland show. I don't know if you've noticed that or not. I, I do know. I do yeah, know. like I have my clothes on. There's no band here. We're not doing bits, videos, you know? It is different. Yes, so you could incorporate some of that into the, you know, into the into I the just had nothing going on in my brain. <laughs> they are, they are pro- just they're probably just in. thinking you're setting up a video and they're like, fuck, what does he want here? Sure, it could be, could be. I thought the whole, like, Steve not coming out on stage was part of the... I No, he was, I think he was definitely drinking or something. He's absolutely blasted. <laughs> After the show, he's like, like, he's like, he's like very, I'm going to take it easy. Not as drunk as our, my other former producer, though. Oh, Cullen. Cullen oh, was fucking, <laughs> like, did you see him or no? I did. He was, like, slurring words and, like, doing, I looked over one point, he, Literally, he had his head like in Pelletier's lap. <laughs> well, wow, that's the golf hang. So. Right. <laughs> very strange. His video was good. Uh, Colleen's video was very funny. Mm-hmm. But um, <clears throat> I saw the picture going around of him, too. Ooh. He's How not, tall? He's not like uh, 9.5. How no. tall is Colleen? The other night, he was as tall as me, which I've never seen that, before. He's definitely wearing lifts in his I shoes. Was, I, that's exactly <laughs> I, why I, I told asked him that. that. I, said, yeah, I, said I thought he was wearing lifts also. Definitely wearing lifts. Because he was taller than me. Like, yeah. I thought significantly taller yes, than me. Definitely he's not wearing, usually. Yeah, definitely wearing some sort of boot or something. Yeah. No question about that. It was trouble. None. What else, Justin? From the show. I don't uh, care about anything else. From the show, let's see. Uh, like, do you or care the weekend about, in general. Yeah, like, so Mike and the Meta fans, uh, people people were saying that, you know, it was a it's Roundly a criticized. Oh, yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. People were saying that? Uh, yes. A, a couple of people. Yeah, four people were saying <laughs> that? <laughs> yeah. The, uh, well, well one, one person who comes in the studio every now and then was very upset with Mike. I, I silenced a few of the big stars. Oh, I, I, I used my power. Yeah, Cinema Lords is not happy, huh? No. Oh, no. Jeez, he's a weird guy. He gets very worked up about things like that. I don't get What is he angry? He just wanted to be on Mike and the Minute Fans? Yeah, but if we did another half hour or whatever, I would have had him on. Could have just walked up. <laughs> Next time I'll be like, you know what, Kirk? We're good. You get the hell out of here. <laughs> Who was on? I'm going to continue the show. Who was on? Uh, so I started with Gus, Justin, Coleman. Uh-huh. And then I had, Steve before I you got there, I had Julie and Steve on. And then mm-hmm. I was going to have like... Mick, John from Scranton. Right. I could name the people I would have had on before Cinema Lords. It's about right. eight or nine. <laughs> so we might not have gotten to them. We might have. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, <clears throat> the thing I forget is like people are watching it at home. I'm thinking it's only the bar is really paying attention. Right. And that, yeah, I kind of forgot that too, where at a certain point I was like, oh, fuck it. No one is paying. I could just right. <laughs> leave right. if I wanted to. But Right. Same. I was yeah. After a minute of me talking, people were just drinking and chattering away. So, yeah. So, <laughs> I mean, it's, but I, it's kind of a meet and greet. It, 
Yeah, it's no, it's a nice, anyways, you know? nice scene. No, it seemed like everybody had a good time. Fans were, de- I could tell. It was funny. I checked it there uh, that night. I was like, oh, tomorrow night's going to be absolutely fucking wild. Yeah, and it was. I mean, the cr- probably the best crowd we've had. I would say for sure. Um, it was my favorite show or not, but it was important to me to, to get it right after after Plymouth, and we did. We fucking crushed it. So <sighs> the next one, whatever it is, is going to be a tough standard to meet. But we will. Do our, we will endeavor to do our best, I think. Excellent. Yeah. What else, Coleman or Justin? You said not everything went went well. What didn't go right? Uh, <clears throat> trying to think. What didn't go well? What didn't go well? How would you rate Julie's performance? I, I, I don't know what she does. Gets coffee. She, if she gets coffee and batteries, <laughs> I give her an A+. I, I realized what... The money gun didn't work. My, oh, that was the thing. Mutt's like, literally, I'm not lying. You walk off and Mutt's like, fucking Julia, fucking gun fucked me up about his first uh, rap lyrics. He was all mad. Yeah. But that's not her fault. Not really. He, I realized what you were and Julie dynamic was at that thing. It was mm. uh, Seinfeld and his manager. Yes. Uh, Kitty yeah. from that 70s yeah. show. Right. Yeah. <laughs> the pilot is going to be in the audience. Right. Yes. <laughs> it was yeah. very, she's very eager to please you. And anytime you joke about it, it like just obliterates her. I know. I don't like, I'm just like, I don't, you don't have to do anything. Like it doesn't, I'm not really sure what needs to, but. Like, I, what did she do well during the show, uh, Justin? Uh, she got some waters on, on stage. Well, that's true. I, um, eat, I, eat, I needed that. There was yeah. one time before the Mutt thing where she was talking about making sure Mutt got his microphone. That's good. That's, that's valuable. That, that was where Justin, I think, snapped the most at her. Though. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, cause, cause I, I heard was... him behind me go, Mike's fine. Well, because she kept going, she kept going, <laughs> Mike's microphone, Mike's microphone. And I was like, yeah, he's fine. He's fine. And then it was like, either come out here and talk to me. Or Bitch. like, like I, I just I couldn't hear her. She just kept saying like Mike's microphone, Mike's microphone. Yeah. But you meant Mutt, not me. Mike, well, that's his name. Yeah. Nobody's ever called him that, but that is his name. <laughs> yeah. I'll be doing a song or whatever. And I just see her sort of circling the. I was like, I don't know what's going on here. I think she was trying to corral the people needed for upcoming stuff too. Oh, God. Well, she was doing that. That was helpful. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Well, the, the drip lords who were great. Oh, that's what I meant yeah. to mention. Is like. I didn't know what was. Ha- I heard. Th- I saw they were on stage. Mm-hmm. I didn't know what they were saying or anything. And then I hear No Exit Four start playing. So I assumed like they had left and you started singing. Yeah. And then I see. I'm like, are these guys not wearing shirts anymore? <laughs> what the fuck is happening? <laughs> I like two percent considered just leaving for the night when the Drip Lords were up there. Like part of me was like, <laughs> maybe I should just go. Just with an hour to just let those guys go for an hour and see how long everyone stays. I, I'm impressed. Like. I wouldn't be comfortable doing that. Like, good for no, them. That's, that's, that. that's essentially like assault, me telling them they have to take their shirts off. Like, <laughs> yeah. I'm like Dan Schneider. Whatever the hell is his name. No, they were very fired up. Crowd was crowd was good for that. The, the, no Exit 4 was great. The songs were great. Um, yeah, the open, I'm glad the open hit uh, for sure. So yeah, like I said, the original cut Coleman sent me was like 70 minutes. <laughs> it literally had like flashbacks. And the like, Coleman like, cut. Like, yeah. It was like foreign language. It was just like, yeah, it was like fucking... A lot of ways, like Roman Polanski. Directed the movie. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> Maybe um, for the Justin montage. Yeah, that's true. Um, but we cut it down perfectly, uh, I thought, to the point where, you know, honestly, the best actor in that whole thing was Gus. He was the, born oh, to play so that role. That's what I started to say a minute ago. It's like, Gus could be, I think, in a horror movie. And I don't oh, mean that necessarily as a compliment. No, like, definitely. A, oh, definitely. A terrifying man. Yes. Oh, that's exactly <laughs> what it was. <laughs> uh, Mick took some work, but he got there. Oh, he, well, he came out good. Yep. Yeah. Mick was the one that kept blinking. Okay. Like, like you just yeah. like you like, it was like very weird. Uh, Montante, you know how he is as an actor, and then Steve did his thing. Yes. So and then we were off to the races. So we started a couple minutes later on purpose, and then I said, "You well, oh yeah," because Shane was there mm-hmm. with me and Steve on Main Street. We're waiting, and we're in, I'm in my friggin' you know tank top or whatever, and Steve's in this thing. We're freezing. I said to Shane, "Why don't you just text Justin and, and see where they're at?" And he's like, oh, "I don't have Justin's number." <laughs> How is that possible for a lot? You guys don't have each other's phone number? We do not. They never overlap. Well, no, but a live show, at some point you should say to the other guy, hey, for a situation like that. Sure. <laughs> I was going directly to the source. Who's that? You. I know, but you didn't know if I was, I mean, I had to get ready to go. Yeah, you, you said, text him. You texted me first, though. I'm saying you could have, have Shane's number for the future. Shane did a great job. Shane, Shane's the man. <clears throat> he was all over it. Oh, yeah. Awesome performance. Although Shane did have a great uh, green room moment. <laughs> oh, fucking green room. <laughs> <laughs> he goes that uh that UConn game. He goes, Kirk, you're never gonna believe. Oh, this. that's right. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. UConn, UConn just went on a 30 point run in a minute and 45 seconds. <laughs> right. And you go, I don't think that's just mathematically <laughs> possible. It's not. And he goes, No, it is. No, it is. He's like, and he said, no, he actually goes, he's like, you're not gonna believe it. <laughs> yeah. I, said, said, I, I said, I don't believe it. 
And it turns out it wasn't over a minute and a half. Or no, 40 it was five seconds. minutes. But he was just, yeah, he was, but he was, yeah, he got very into that. I was like, wait a minute. I'm like, that's, I literally went on my phone with the tour. I was like, that's the most amazing sporting achievement of all time. He, he didn't leave any room for like, maybe I'm wrong. He was like, no, I'm, I'm telling you. <laughs> it's, it's, it's the most incredible yeah, moment yeah. in sports he's like, history. Oh, he's like, oh, it was eight minutes or something. Oh, well, oh, well. Um, <clears throat> yeah, but it was a, uh, I think everything was pretty smooth. I'm trying to think of some more green room stuff. People like that. Uh, the Gus, the Gus and Mrs. Gus dynamic oh, was fun. Oh. Or yeah, yeah, it reminds me of like, uh, she's a prisoner, but at the <laughs> same time, like she lives in that house too. Oh yeah. Like, she, she's I'm, willingly part of this. Sure. You guys were in that house a couple of times. I was in that kitchen. I told the story during the show. So we, I filmed a thing. Some people want me to release it. Some people don't. I, I don't know if we're going to release the open for that. I don't. Should we do that, Justin? You think? Uh, the thing is, it's like, not that it doesn't hit, like. You're right. You got to well, be there. Like, and then people were like, see, even with the, the pay-per-view, like the videos look great and everything like right. that. But I feel like if you're sitting at home watching it, it's I not agree. the same experience. I happen as, to agree with you. Yeah. So we filmed the thing. And I'm in Joanne's. Is that her name? Joanne? Joanne? Uh, no. You're Robin. 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 No, no, no. Uh, the wedding dress. Yes. Jo oh, Joanne's. Yeah. Yes. Joanne's wedding dress from Pelletier. I had it. And the premise was that Gus kidnapped me after the Plymouth show. He's been drugging me and whatever for six years, right, torturing yeah. me. Yes. You're right. Thank you, Justin. In his, uh, in that crazy guest room. Yeah. So I put my shoes down and Gus moves them. So I'm done with everything. And I go and find my shoes and they're in the kitchen. I bend over to get it. And the cabinets, like when the pail goes up in the Silence of the Lambs and you see all the like blood and nails and stuff. <laughs> There was old fruit punch <laughs> or blood stained, stuck to the thing. But then there was dog hair, like, like almost ironed onto it. Damn. I mean, I love animals. Yeah. So, I mean, but it was like horror. It was horror. So, like, I'm like, oh, I feel very bad for her. She seems very nice, but she's a bit like, she lives in that home. Yeah, that's exactly what I said about Amanda Berry years right. ago. Right. That's true. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> maybe she's just but maybe she's just a prisoner. I don't know. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think about some of his like decor and stuff that he has in there? It's it's frightening. It's frightening. I said in the <laughs> show he has a, you know, he has like a what's the uh what's the dance movie? Where they challenge each other. Bring it oh. on or step He's like bring it on four board games. <laughs> <laughs> like he has board games of like movies that no one ever went to. And I think as I said you know those aren't just for him and her. That's for company. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's it's a big like, night. hey, gang, yeah, guess they, what? Oh, yeah, here's a little, here's a little, <laughs> little bar there. Yep. Yeah. And we, we go there, and he's sitting on the couch, and I'm like, I'm like, do we bother? He's like, no, I've been sitting here watching South Park all day. <laughs> it was like 2 in the afternoon. <laughs> Gus was great for, I liked having Gus around. Good, uh, good energy. Me, him, and um, he's a vibes guy. Dick and Hopkinton. Spent a lot of the day together. Yeah, one of the contest winners. Who again, yes. very nice guy, but not one of the great personalities. He was perfect. Yes, he's like, uh, like you said. It was like having Warthog there. Yeah, it's almost like it's kind of like uh, you know when you and Titus realized that each other was a great free throw shooter. Sure, and kind of leaned on each other. That was me and Dick and Hopkinton. Oh yeah, that green. I was like, <laughs> we were meant to be here today. You know, why don't you go back to your room during the day for that, Mike? I. I can't see well, well enough. I'm saying to someone could take you there. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Justin told me to be there at ten. I was there at ten. You told me to be there at ten. <laughs> I said that's when we're going. If you want to come, and then no, you, you didn't. You said we're leaving at nine forty. Yeah. Then then we left, and you wanted to go back to your hotel room. I would have brought you back to your hotel room. Remember that next time. I'll remember. Let's fucking sit there for ten hours. Well, okay. What what happened was I said Friday night. I said, uh, "What time tomorrow? You think?" And to he me. Said, no, to him. And he yeah. said 10. Right. And I said, are you sure Kirk wants me there that early? And well, he said, oh, I, and he said, he said to be I'll there. check. And then the next thing I heard was 940. So I said, all right, I'll be there at 940. 940? Yeah. When did I say that? No, I didn't say it. No, I grabbed him. I grabbed him at 940. Yeah. Oh, I didn't. I mean, I didn't care. Oh, yeah. I was there. <laughs> First one in, last one out. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Not much in between, but. <laughs> what did you hear about me versus Julie, though? There's a lot of that. A lot of snippiness from you. Oh, yeah, I was very I mean, stressed. you were very, you mean snippy a meter in the VIP, which we had all the time over like two hours before the show. Was I, I don't remember being snippy at you. Well, he didn't. He, he, gets, he gets in that mode. Yeah, he doesn't realize what nervous. he's nervous. I mean, I oh, like, I was very, like, it was the most nervous I've been my entire life. Yeah, but like, but you, I would like both of you to be like in the middle nervous. Coleman doesn't care. What? No. And you're super nervous. I'd, I'd like a We were minute. trying, we were clearly like trying to get Coleman to say he was nervous. And he's like, nah, never been, uh, never yeah. been cool. I was, though. I, I mean, <laughs> You have to be, but it's just in that moment, I want to be confident and make sure that we're going to 
You know? yeah, good. Your calm is what got me through it. Calm, calm. <laughs> well, no, I'm just saying. Steady like, hand. Yeah. 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 Thank God Calmo was there. <laughs> He's a rock. Jeez. Clemmer's video was good. Yep. We shot that here. Basically, we put Clemmer asleep in different moments in show history. Me leaving for mental health, Mike's uh, grandmother breast kiss, stuff like that, which yes. I thought actually landed pretty well. Um, <clears throat> um, in memoriam. In memoriam is good. We had to cut that down a bunch, John but it was good. John did a good job. I thought that. Jeff, maybe it was just because he came on when no music was playing. Yeah. I thought Jeff got the biggest pop of the night, probably. He got a big pop. It was big. I was, yeah, I was, I was impressed. Yeah, he got a, I gave him a good intro, and he had a good pop for sure. His yeah. videos were funny, too. Well, Mike gets a big pop. Well, Mike, got, Mike got the biggest It's become like a show tradition now. Sure. They roll Mike out, which <laughs> he just sits down. <laughs> His work is done. I thought I had a good comparison, my role on those shows. What was it? I said, uh, I'm like Dan Levitard's father. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, the old, the old foreign guy. Yeah. It's true. Hey, listen, it works. <laughs> Um, what else, Coleman, from your first experience? Um, I actually took a bunch of notes on Saturday night. Um, your brother is, I think, an asshole. No, he was, I think he was just a little uncomfortable in the situation. Mm. In, and he's actually like kind of refrained until he's like on stage. And then he's he kinda, one of those Vegas guys. He's like a hot shot. You he know? did say, so we got back to the room and he's like, so like Gus is autistic, right? And I was like, no, I, I was like, he had a stroke. And he's like, oh, okay. That kind of makes the a little The only time he, it, it would light up at all is when... Coleman wasn't there when we were making fun of Coleman. <laughs> he liked He actually did like that. He's like, yeah. But he, he, like, him and his wife, like, I think me and Gus were talking at mm-hmm. uh, Gritty's. Yeah. And Julie came up to us and goes, like, Gus, is your wife all right? Like, she doesn't look very comfortable. And Gus goes, ah, she always looks like that. <laughs> yeah, he just doesn't. I was like, and then, and then he yells to her. He goes, hey, babe, they all say you look miserable. And I go, no, not we all. <laughs> we didn't well, all I saw him. I said, I said, what's your wife doing during? Because Gus was there hanging out. I'm like, what's your wife doing during the day? He's like, gosh, she's taking a nap. I said, she is? She said, probably. <laughs> so he's well, guessing. Uh, he, he was standing on stage with us after the show. Yeah. And uh, I think Justin was like, Gus, where's your wife? And he's like, ah, she's hanging with mud upstairs. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. I go upstairs. I go upstairs. And then, like, it's. Five minutes after that, and it's his <laughs> wife sitting there, mutt next to him, and then like Gus is like on a different couch. <laughs> Jesus. And it's just like oh, well, this poor woman. <laughs> my brother was saying he was making some like racist joke or something that effectively ended in the punchline, like she has jungle fever. Oh Jesus. Oh, and he's oh, yeah. and he kept but, repeating it yeah. until the dick from Hopkins guy turned to him and was like all right, that's enough. <laughs> Gus was trying to prove to Steve how racist he was. To yeah. Try and fit in. This guy won the contest and literally spent about 40 seconds with me. And I was like, all right, I'm going. Yeah. I'm taking a shower. But I'm I will say, he got the full experience of everyone else. He, he got the, the vintage Steve. Yep. Steve Steve had a couple great moments where... Uh, so Steve was sober. I got people already tweeting me saying Steve was hammered. Drinking beers like crazy during the show. Hell yeah. He started with a Voodoo Ranger, which is like 9% alcohol. <laughs> I'll tell you, Steve got like... Some booze as the show went on, though, too. Oh, really? Yeah. That, yeah. that cock story was not a, not a winner. Well. <laughs> was it ever really? He was no. setting, he was I think we need to hear it one more time. Huh? He was we need to hear it yeah, one more time. It was, he was taking his time. That was cr- in the green room, you left for a good chunk of time and came I got, back. I got changed. Still whatever. telling the story. Yeah, and it's like, what are you? I think at that point, you're starting to feel it. I think you're starting <laughs> oh, to get maybe. Little, Yeah, I think the buzz was kicking in. But he, uh, so he's chatting up Casey a lot, too, I noticed. Yeah, he was, you know, listen. Ooh, hey, good for well, Steve. Oh, well, he's married, man. Well, another, well, another Steve was trying his best. Oh, yeah. And, you know, I, you, could feel, you could feel like a little romantic comedy. Like, that's a good, like, romantic comedy. It starts out as a joke, as a joke, but the joke becomes reality. Exactly. Like a dirty dancing yeah, yeah, wedding, yeah, yeah. I think, could happen. There's a moment where Steve's like, that with a bit? Right. And Casey's like, but I didn't mean. Right. <laughs> exactly. And they're like, oh, you know, we're having the, you know, the time of their lives. And yeah, yeah, just yeah. Kind of, right. <laughs> and at the wedding, he actually does land. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Their timing was a little off on that one. About like 25 yeah, seconds yeah. off. It was, yeah. that's, it's tough. The crowd was going crazy, so it was tough. Steve, Steve, Steve really felt comfortable by the end. I think he was maybe nervous before him, mm-hmm. but he really felt comfortable by the end because he goes, uh, uh, he comes up to me and goes, hey, Mike, gr- great job thitting up here. Uh-huh. <laughs> Thanks, Steve. Thanks, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Slamming me. Yeah, but- so, Steve, so, so the Steve thing, we, we did dirty dancing and whatever, with Casey and him dancing, and he catches her at the end, but... Steve's instruction was like, Casey comes out for no reason. And I put her in the corner like they do in Dirty Dancing. And then Steve's supposed to come out and say, nobody puts Casey in the corner. Yeah. Then grab take, her. take the mic, walk over, grab her, bring her to a spot. Then come out and say, you know, uh, at the live shows, whatever. My song always comes last. I, I dance I last. I dance last. Something. And he, he couldn't do it. He wrote it down. He was flustered. He came out and like did exactly what he was. Like his back was turned. He's like far away. Like he always was in the show. He's like. Nobody puts Kathy in the corner. And then he walked over. It was, no, he, it, he, he said. 
right. Lines I, back I, back. I do the last dance. Yeah. And I was like, uh, all right, here we go. <laughs> but that, it's better that way. It was awesome. It was everything. It was, awesome. it was awesome. Big awesome chance that night too. Oh yes. Yeah. Awesome. So, there we go. Yes. Thank you. Um, the, uh, the Steve Robinson in the group, when Gus was like oh, yeah, talking yeah. politics with him, Gus made some joke. Oh, cause G- Steve brought Ziggy with him to the hotel. I know he brought him, he brought him out after he's annoying. And Gus made some joke like, Shoot um, that dog. <laughs> like, uh, hopefully the triad weed people don't send someone after Ziggy or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Made, like a John Wick comparison. Right. And Steve's just scrolling on his phone, not paying attention to him. And then he looks up and goes. I'd make John Wick look like Mother Teresa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just looked at Dick and Hopkinton and was like, money well spent, brother. Awesome. Congratulations. Yeah. Enjoy it. <laughs> what well, notes do you have, Coleman? Uh, let's see. Um, well, a video that didn't make it through was uh, Greg Poehler. Didn't make the cut. Well, I, time, yeah. time was a factor. Yeah. Time was a factor. Oh, the uh, two things I wanted to say that didn't get... That would get tweeted out. We'll tweet that out at some point. Go ahead. Gotcha. Um, I heard the, uh, the the way this show ends. That guy never showed up. Oh yeah. right! So we were gonna end the <clears throat> we were gonna end the show exactly the way the episode ends with that guy singing that song. Bobby Costa singing uh, Tennessee Coleman. Right. So they said they couldn't get him. I'm leaving, getting my car after the show, and he runs over to me. He's like, "Where the fuck? What the fuck happened?" He was ready to go. He said. We the entire time we were messaging him like, "Come up on stage." Oh really? And then he said like, "He's like, oh yeah, like my phone was off." <laughs> oh okay. <laughs> he knew he was going to do it, right? Yes. I mean, like, that's the reason he, how he got to the show. He right. asked me about that more than hey, we gave him a ticket, any right? other person. Yes. yes. Jesus Christ, that's funny. That's funny. And then the other was, uh, we forgot to have Justin drink his Mountain Dew. I know, I thought oh. that this morning. Yeah. Gotta crack it open, Justin. That's too bad. You still do us. That's true. Next live show. Wow. Mm-hmm. Pretty presumptuous of you. <laughs> She'll be there. <laughs> um. What else, Coleman? Um. Oh, so after the show, Mike and I hung hung out together. Me and Coleman oh. were part of the the wrecking crew. I saw some picture of you guys sitting in some room somewhere with a bunch oh, of this people. So this is the that strangest, like the biggest nightmare of all time. This was my I my Did events you, where post was this? show. I was living out the intro like in real life. <laughs> <laughs> I know it. <laughs> so where was this? I, so this I, was Montante and BA's. BA's room. Oh Christ! Well, listen. To that. <laughs> so I never go out after these, yeah. and I was like. Uh, what the hell? Well, why not? I'll right. go. I'll go up for a sure. drink or whatever. It was in my hotel, so I was like, "Why not?" Right. And uh, so I was with Julie and Coleman. Yeah. And I was gonna head back to my room, and Julie was like, "We're going to BA's room." And again, I said yes to life. I was like, "Sure." That's why I don't like Julie that much. <laughs> you, know, you understand what I'm saying, Justin? Yeah, that she's. Yeah, she's in that. Yeah, I like and I like circle. BA and everything, but it's like you. you I, in your mind, what, it's. I wasn't in there. It's right. like one or the other. Right. And she's made her choice. Go ahead, Mike. So, <laughs> so we're waiting by the elevator and Snell gets in the elevator. With oh, us. Christ. Is, is he was, there? So he uh, latches on. Yeah. To I didn't see him at the show. Okay. Yeah. So he latches on to us. Oh. And he, and he Julie goes, leans over to me and she's like, is this guy okay? And I'm like, Julie, I, this I'm not in, in control <laughs> here. This is kind of, uh, right. if so Snell is joining us, that's on you. So it's me. Coleman, Julie, and Snell oh, God. walking into a room with B.A., Montante, and John from Scranton, which oh. I swear I had this dream last year. Also. God almighty. <laughs> oh. But this was all too real. What was the discussion? It was I, I, Those guys were fun to hang oh, out nice with. Guys. Like, B.A., yeah. Montante, and John were all fun. There's a girl who I assume was shackled to the bed that Pro- wasn't, wasn't that. allowed right. to leave. That sure. was very nice. Yeah. Sure. Um, but they were fun. I said to, uh, I said to B.A., this is kind of like when all the living presidents get together. You right. know, the two hosts of Mike and the Minifans. That's true. It was a big deal. That's true. But then Snell, it, there was an energy of like a... I kept asking to use your stick. A high school bully or so. He kept, yeah, he's like, let me see your stick. Why? And I was like, no. <laughs> I literally had to say to another grown man, it's not a toy. Yeah, well, for what? <laughs> was he trying to do like a bit? I get, yeah, I I'm sure know. he was going, oh, I'm Somewhere. Mike and walk into a wall or something. I don't oh, know. Jesus. <laughs> yeah. So that was weird. <clears throat> yeah. And then... Um, uh, Jay came. Oh, forget it. And that's when Montante looked at me, and I think he could tell that I would rather be in Dan Schneider's writer's room. <laughs> right. <laughs> and I was like, should we, should we get the hell out of here? Call but him and Julie are getting into an argument. About what? I watched, I, a, that, I, watched, I, I watched like a YouTube chat in real life. Yeah, <laughs> it, right, was, right, it was right, very right, weird. Right, right. So I was like, all right, what do you say we get the hell, here, hell out yeah, of here? Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's a tough scene. Mike and I had like... I think both been trying to get out of there within like the same time frame, but both kind of waiting on the Coleman handed me a beer and I was like, damn. And <laughs> in my mind, I was like, if he takes this, 
I'll stay. If he doesn't, I'm out of here too. Like, let's go. But then he took it. And I was like, oh, why weren't you there, Justin? Uh, I showed up to the bar for a little bit, but then I went back to just decompress in the room. Yeah. Well, you put on a hell of a show. I can understand that. I don't know. I was very stressed. And <laughs> yeah. Get... Well, you did a good job. Oh, thank you. Fine. It was good. It was at... You did what you were supposed to do. I know. And what added to my thinking I was living out the intro was on the way home, Justin, unprovoked, went into a 20-minute uh, oh, no. diatribe about democracy. Oh, <laughs> I didn't have to ask a follow-up or anything. I got oh, yeah. the full, the full who, rundown. Who needs that? <laughs> God. Um, but yeah, we'll definitely, if they have us back, we'll definitely be back there, I would assume, next year, probably at the same time. You might have to, Julie might not be allowed back, but everyone else. Well, not Chris Coleman. No. Oh, yeah, and Chris Coleman. <laughs> but he's not, he's too good for it anyway. Chris yeah, Coleman gave me some info that oh. adds to a storyline from last week. What's that? The reason I suspect Mrs. Coleman's gash is open 24-7. Oh, yes. She apparently gets legless on family vacations. Oh, is that true? <laughs> sort of. I mean, sort of. Well, within this specific story, we were at a like resort in Mexico, uh -huh. and you're drinking the watered-down stuff all yeah, week. Yeah, 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 right. So we went out on a catamaran one day tough life Mike huh? yeah and they pull out like a full like legit bottle of tequila so she's, oh boy <laughs> she's but she's drinking it like it's the watered down stuff throughout oh, the entire Jesus. week and just got bombed oh god it was, face down in the pool Chris said oh yeah you have to levitate her picture out. three in you guys you, you guys suck the clit or how do you do it you gotta make sure you hit the right spot what I'm just open with yeah, my children yeah. wait was that a problem <laughs> um oh yeah it's funny though when you go so as people go to live shows, no, like during a lot of the live songs, I'll jump down and kind of go around. It's funny just running into, like seeing faces all of a sudden. Because most of them you don't know, but then you'll be like, oh, shit, yeah. there's a stage five guy. Or, yeah. You know, oh, there's <laughs> whoever. There was a funny moment. We were walking out of Gritty's at pretty much the same time. Yes. And the guy came up to me and he goes, uh, hey, Mike, I'm Roscoe. And I go, ah, I know you from Twitter. And you go, where else would you know? <laughs> yeah, <from?"> <laughs> and Mike is basically bothering this homeless guy. Oh, yeah, that was minutes. bad. Just, hey. let the guy, just let the guy sleep. Listen, let him alone. Just, <laughs> him alone. I thought he might have had some good Mike, advice. Mike, Mike, he's not going to subscribe. He's literally <laughs> homeless. I don't think. I don't Buddy, it's the price of a yeah, cup of coffee every month. I don't think he has any money. <laughs> Mike's like, at least the YouTube, that's free. <laughs> At least go to the you know, at least go to the Blind Mike project. No, no, no. Jeez. You very generously pawned him off on me. Yes, I did. Yeah. <laughs> Blindmike.net. And like I said, the um I, I'm sens I I have sensitivity for people, of course, but boy, that homeless situation is a madhouse in Portland. I, I think worse than last year. It's gonna keep getting worse. It's coming here, Kirk. <clears throat> it is here. They kinda kept to themselves though. More so Did than you like expect New them to play with no eggs of four, Colm? No, <laughs> yeah, hop on. Uh, no, like in New York, they're kind of, like homeless in New York are kind of in your face. A sometimes. more belligerent, a yeah. more combative. Yeah. You, guys, you know, they kept their as out. opposed to this guy who literally touched my hand. Yeah, <laughs> like, I said when the Starbucks the next morning, that guy somehow moved over there, which is not that far away. It's like two blocks, but I went in there and the guys are just sitting there. There's a homeless guy like sitting on the ground. That's in, the Starbucks in, policy. Yeah, in the bathrooms, I had to piss. I just run. I was like, "Well, I'm not. I am not going in there. Definitely to be a guy in there, like either passed out on heroin, doing something. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, it was a. But it's where the theater is is nice. Theater's great. That's a good area generally. I think pretty much. Oh yeah, and that's where we stayed, right across the street from. There. Yeah, I was down like uh, <clears throat> maybe a mile or so from there. Pizza before was a disaster. You had Chuck and cheese, <laughs> Chuck <laughs> and <laughs> cheese pizza. I like it. Oh, that's another great Julie story. <laughs> Oh yeah. yeah, what was it? She was very. And I, Cause like, I went to get, I went to take a shower and put on my suit. She was just very nervous about, like, she wanted to prove to you that she was doing a good job. She so wanted she, to prove to me that she can do what Harry does: order a pizza. <laughs> Not just mean in general, yeah, right? Yeah. So uh, she ordered four pizzas just for everybody, right? And then um, she ordered them, and you were like, "All right, I'm going to be back in uh, 20 minutes or whatever." Right. So you really, which I basically was, right? I mean, so, that gone long. so she orders pizza, and it comes, and she goes. So she gets like a, you know, update on her phone or whatever. And she goes, oh, no. And the tone was literally, I was like, great. The tickets were sold in Portland, Oregon. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, disaster. Yeah. She goes, oh, no. My the God. pizza's here. And I was like, what's wrong with it's that? Said she goes, it's going to be cold when Kirk gets oh, back. Jesus. I have to order another pizza. So we had four pizzas and then Kirk had a hot one on his way. <laughs> Which was just like a Chuck E. Cheese pizza. It was very. It was like, good pizza. It was no. It was, no, it was very doughy. Pizza. It was pizza. No, you like yeah, the, pizza. you like bacon pizza. limp. You like pizza soft. You're, I don't know what is with you. I, I was Fucking raped by asshole. a flaccid man. As like, a or, a, or, a, or a pizza <laughs> delivery guy with <laughs> bacon for breakfast. I don't know. What the hell's going on? It was. I mean, it's fucking pizza. I mean, yeah. it's you know, it's 
it was. I a, liked it. a C, Justin. I would say like a D. Actually, C's average. average. Oh, yeah, yeah. I would say like a D, D plus. plus. No yeah. way. It was just like, just like bland. Like there was no yeah. flavor to it. Julie did night before Julie bang up job. Julie was telling me his burger place is like unbelievable. So I go there. It's fucking terrible. <laughs> so I'm sitting there and this, these guys buy buy dinner. I didn't even know it. Minna fans next to me. And the waitress comes over. She's like, just so you know, this is from Jeff D. Lowe. She's like, I look at the joke, but then I'm like, oh. And I was like, fuck this. I was like, Jeff D. Lowe never pays. So I bought their dinners. Of course, their minute fans. It was like $300 <laughs> oh, a beer. It was like, there's no food. But yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, you're right. Jeff got a big pop. That's for sure. Yeah. He did. He Been did. a fan of the year. He's, you, you gave him a nice intro. That probably uh, led to it. But. Yes. And he had a good video. He, he had the text proof that Coleman has had sex with Joey Kamas. I Oh, right, Justin? I mean, is that what yeah, you took false. from this? Yeah, any reasonable person would come to that. I mean, yeah. or you're just laying in Which, bed with them. If we're going to be, you yeah, know. It's still troubling with an intern. If we're, yeah, if we're yeah. going to be progressive here, the Thank blame you. is on Joey, I think. Absolutely. A young boy Joey's was my provoked. age, right? Yeah. He's, an uh, older. he's the same age as Clemmer and Brandon Walker. Okay, I don't know. Okay, I know how that, okay. What does that mean? I don't know what Speaking age they minutes. are, but I know that they are the same age. Gotcha. four ish Yeah, a little younger than me. So what happened? You, you didn't sleep with him. No, I did not. I went to that house. You shared a bed with him. No. I'm confused. We were in the same house, but Mm -hmm. I had my own bedroom, if you will. Okay, I will. Yeah. (laughs) If if you will. If you will, yeah. (laughs) Well, those you have, Coleman. Um, I saw... Uh, Mama K made, daughter made an appearance at the uh, lower the notes here. Geez, oh, no, I just got random stuff. There was a great uh, B A. There was a, great, a random, you know. Yeah. B A. had a great Coleman observation when we were in their room. Mm-hmm. He goes, "You know what that guy is saying?" I think it was like Julie's cousin or something. Yeah, was just going on this rant. He's like, "Coleman's like Coleman's fine. Like I think Coleman's okay. Like he's not the greatest. He's not gonna <laughs> pro- like he's he's whatever." Right. And then B A. goes, "Me, Coleman is sitting right next to him." Just, <laughs> I, just I like t- stood up. This. I, I was. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you didn't like hearing that? Well, the other Julie's family or whatever, they're they're bringing up like the group chat, the group chat and stuff. Like, oh, like you know, Cullen and Justin made the group chat and kind of seeing like you're not, miss, I, you're not missing much there. It, exactly. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I was, I guess, going through a tryout to to see if I would oh, an honor be quality enough. Wow. Right? I haven't heard anything since though, nice. so I guess I failed. Jesus. Huh. Do we bring Julie back for the next show, Justin, or no? It's totally up to you. Yes. Okay. It's- you're she down. was very helpful to me, which I appreciate. Yeah, Not great. that that matters to you, but great. we're there for Mike. <laughs> they got me in. Then. Jesus, what else, Coleman? If that's your last note, we have no, some problems. No, no, no. Mama K's daughter was at a bar. That's great. <laughs> She's young. new appearance. No I, new appearance. I, um, I think the biggest pop. I, I know we said Jeff D. Lowe. I think the, when Mutt came running out. Yeah, we set, there. We, that set, would, we set that one up well. That was well, Mike got yeah. the huge pop. I got a few nice pops. Well, yeah, no, but I think like the, the Mike one, like obviously. Was expected. I yeah. don't think the the mutt one was like, holy shit, there he is. Well, I think that's what people, because I see some people who hate the show, but that's where I think these live shows are great, is that I took an idea of my brother Ryan pretending he's black and turning into mutt showing up. It's very show. funny. Yeah. yeah, that worked out very, I thought that worked out well. No Exit 4 was great. We rehearsed it, worked out perfectly. And mutt was great. You know, mutt's a born rapper. Yeah. The blackface was a, looking jacked. was a good move. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's clearly on the psycho. He's, yeah, he's, <laughs> Steve too. Yeah, Steve, everyone's saying Steve looking jacked. Yeah. Oh, Steve, yeah. Steve has tight t-shirt go. Steve was in like full. A, 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 multiple people commented to me on his arms. Yeah, he kept like grabbing his, pretending he was going to grab his gun. He was in like full, <laughs> like, you know, Steve mode. What were you saying, Coleman? Uh, one part during the show. So you and Justin were calling over to me, I think, during Friends Friends. Mm-hmm. And I was still very confused about what was going on during that. What do you mean? You you guys were like. Oh, I thought, I thought. Justin was throwing condoms up. No, for the I was crowd. throwing. Oh. So I was gonna have you just basically simulate a blowjob on a condom, almost. Like, how, how would you do that? Nah, I would figure. I was gonna grab something, like the microphone or something, put it on okay. there. Yes, I, we, we could. We yeah. were trying to improv. So I was confused. <laughs> and Justin was like, "Yeah, I'm just throwing out the pills." And I was like, "Oh, all right, well, it's kind of a downer, but whatever." <laughs> it's an upper. I was right. going, <laughs> sure. I understand. The the fake money. Justin kept at the end of the night handing me the fake money. It was real money. And so the next mo- I. I forget he's like always doing bits with me. Oh, that's annoying. So the next morning, it's a terrible quality. I left a, a terrible person. I left a five on the counter for the maid. Yeah, that's nice. And he goes, "What, what about all the ones I gave you?" And well, I the was, ones are real. Then. And I was, yeah. Oh, well, they were gone. And then yesterday, I found in one of my pockets like a fake hundred. So I was like, "Oh, he's fucking with me." Uh, <laughs> he tried to get me to leave them. <laughs> they fake were fake money. hundreds. Okay. Well, that's the thing. I, I went and again. Uh, Julie did. Julie did a very nice job of getting to basically be a fan of the show and watch how the show works. She's a good observer of the show. I was, I texted her Saturday morning before I was going over. I was like, Hey, uh, 
Do you know, is there a Bank of America branch near where you're staying? Because there's one near me. I could look it up or whatever. And she's like, no, everything's closed. And I was like, okay, I need to get a bunch of singles for this thing. And she's like, oh, I can, I can, what? I don't think that she responded. I forget. So I went and did it. And I came, I saw her later. And she's like, you're using real money? I was like, yeah, I told you I was going to, like, what do you think I was getting two, you know, 300 singles for whatever it was? <laughs> mm. So, and the, the, the money gun didn't really work, but that's okay. That wasn't her fault. I ordered that. So, um, but yeah, there were a bunch of singles. So there you no, go. Right. people walked out a little bit of dough. Good for them. Good for them. Maybe Gus picked it up for me. I forget. That's true. That's true. Mutt was dying to pick up that money. <laughs> Circling it. <laughs> Not this week, Dad. <laughs> One of the guys in the VIP line is like, he's like, my, he and his wife, his wife was mad at him. She's like, she's like, tell him what you did. And the guy's like, well, I saw Mutt at the uh, bar before the game watching the UConn. I shook his hand, but I put a $10 bill in there. And Mutt acted all offended. And I was like, she's like, isn't that? I'm like, yeah, but you have to do stuff like that. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> I like Mutt acting offended. And Mutt loves How being. I mean, Mutt will never get a chew like that in his life on his own. It's like being part of this world now. You know that does it for him. This is nice. I can confirm. Yeah, it's great. No, the, the, the crowd, the un, un, the fucking greatest crowd ever. So yeah, the uh, Col- Coleman. Uh, Coleman earned his stripes. No, he got a. No. <laughs> he also got a reception. He did get a reception. That's true. <laughs> That's true. Oof, that was tough. I, I hated to see that. I didn't like seeing that. Sure. Are you surprised or no? No. No. <laughs> You'd been egging them on the entire week. But people come up to me and be like, I fucking hate Coleman. I'm like, but he's a nice guy. Like, he's not a bad person. People were doing that so with me. He's a lousy producer, but he's a nice guy. People were doing that with me about Mayo. Every, like, who just ran, who random people there. for some reason were mentioning. Oh, no? Like, no Mayo. Unbelievable. Yeah. He's out. Yeah, Can't people, people were not pleased with his performance. If, was, if we didn't have the show that, that Friday, I would have had Mayo on for two more hours just to try these guys crazy. Oh. Did he say, Jesus did I mishear, Christ. or did he say he was part of the highest, highest downloaded episodes ever? Yes. yes. He said yes. What is he basing that on? Well, he doesn't know, but he's basically, like, <laughs> it's like when crazy things happen in the show, like Mick walking out, Portnoy was on once. Oh, just coincidentally. Yes, yes. yes okay, yes, yes, yes. I thought he was kind I of. I think, right? He wasn't actually credit, himself. was he? <laughs> he was like, it's kind of like a back alley, like yeah. when you have me on, crazy things happen. Right, yes. Yeah, that's how I took it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It was a very annoying performance. <laughs> a very annoying guy. But yeah. So he wasn't there, huh? Jeez. I, I guess not. That's what I've heard, yeah. Anyone else of note not there? Um, obviously, like, I, I, I'm not sure, but I don't think I saw Danny and Bill Rick at all that weekend. My God. I mean, that's not his fault, though. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. He's trying to survive. <laughs> he was actually there just in the hotel across the street. That's probably true. <laughs> it's a long walk from there. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> no, it seemed like everybody there. Daver was not there, I don't think. Did not see Daver from home. Tim Riggles was there, though. He was. Alive. I was happy to see him alive. Thank he was. God. He's back on Twitter, he said. That's good. Oh, okay. No, it's great. It's great. Good. It's great. <laughs> He's back on it's great. Um, yeah, everyone was nice Friday night. I kind of went, got to say hi to everybody at Gritty's and then the VIP. And just during the weekend, you know how it is. When you're just walking around, it's funny. You'll stop at the light and there'll be four guys with Minifan in the hand sweatshirts or whatever. You're just kind of laughing. <laughs> so the crowd takes over a little town for 24 hours and gets out. Good business for them. That bar at the top of the hotel was packed. I can't imagine oh, yeah. four people would be there normally. I don't even know how that thing operates. Right. On like yeah. a, on a Saturday before Easter. Yeah. Right. Oh, that's true too. Um, I had fun that, uh, the day before at the, um, at the, uh, the gritties, uh, the, the post in the post. Oh, WBLM. Yeah. WBLM. That's Steve is not like those call. That's not him. <laughs> Change those numbers. Let's just call that. That must have been an odd time for them <laughs> as a radio true. station. That's a good point. <laughs> they changed it for political reasons. Yeah, but yeah, that was fun. Chris, a great guy, so huge fan. So uh, uh, that was good. Yeah, and like I said, I look forward to going back there next year. But now it's like, all right, done. Spike the football. I told you it'd be a great show. It was a great show. Uh, as always, the same twelve, twenty six hundred people are going to do their complaints, but that's fine. Sure. Um, I saw some a few people come up to me and said, "Were you drunk on?" Yeah, that's, oh, uh, yeah. That's I was ask you. That. Friday, who said this? It was just some. Some Menners? Just yeah, Menners. He was Menners tweeted it. out. Yeah, right. He's like breaking news. Apparently, Kirk was drunk. Based on what? I, I just saw yeah. like on Reddit in the YouTube comments were oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So all it takes is one person going, "Is right, Kirk right, drunk?" And then right. people go, that "Oh, you'll, now you'll that you mentioned it, he looks drunk." Yeah. You'll stumble over a, a word once, and then right. people will be like, "Oh, he's he's off the wagon," which would, I mean. Sure. It's a free country. Yeah, no, sure. <laughs> if I say now I'm not drunk, those people will believe it, right? Well, that's so exactly what well, you say well if you were. That's, that's right. the thing now, too. Is, say it. Is they're saying, like, oh, well, I'm an alcoholic, and, you know, I used to tell people I wasn't drunk. Exactly. I was drunk. I mean, so. I was. This is what happens. I told you this was going to happen with Menors. He was going to surround himself after a while with people who just hate the show. So did that's he... That's what he's done. What was his official... Was, 
was his, what was his take on the show he wasn't at? I guess is what I think. Yeah, I saw I saw somebody <laughs> tweeted me that he tweeted that the place was half full. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm like, said, update fifty percent. I'm like, oh, you guys were there. I'm pretty sure that place wasn't fifty percent full. It looked pretty packed <laughs> no. to me. I don't. Yeah. But again, like him, that vodka guy, sneak. These are people who can't get a crowd on their own, so they make a living or have fun, which is fine. They're welcome. Like that's okay. They're welcome to do that. At least they look at it as fifty percent full instead of fifty. That's true. Empty, that's you know? a good point. Yeah, yeah, it's a good. Maybe they, maybe they said it was fifty percent empty. Yeah. But yeah, like this, the vodka guy's the one who said I didn't try and kill myself or whatever. He said you're. It's all you're faking mental health issues. That's the military guy, right? This guy used to reach out to Steve and beg for a job. But, like, whatever. Who cares? I mean, these are losers, so it's fine. I get this. Manner's a loser. I like him, but he's a loser. Sneaker's a nice guy, but he's a loser. So continue their little thing. But, yeah, it was a great night. But, they, you know, they're going to try and do the thing. Manner's just become, he deleted it, right? Like a pussy. Oh, yeah. Like a little yeah, pussy. Deleting Manner's. He should do a live show. Probably get packed, I would think. <laughs> Sneaker should do a live show. You know, well, I heard some. Uh, they were playing some sound before, and I heard uh, Tom Shattuck speculating about a live show for himself. Oh my god! <laughs> really? <laughs> well, I mean, it was a way. It was complimenting you, so I don't. Oh, okay. Take yeah, I didn't get to really. see it yet. He was on the YouTube channel, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Go I'm watch that. Up, yeah. Yeah. Mm. So, the uh, the Leeches podcast last night, right. which uh, apparently during Menor's show at one point too, he had a uh, Justin the Drip on. Justin the Drip. Yep. Uh, mm-hmm. the, the Florida guy with a religious the Catholic wife, wife yeah. And he was supposed to do his own drip show on Menor's Network. Uh-huh. And then yesterday he came out after, you know, they were talking about you falling off the wagon and stuff like that and said, I will no longer be. Well, alone. I appreciate it. But you can, you, you can do it. It's okay. I appreciate the loyalty, loyalty. But it's, re- it's really okay. It doesn't matter what vodka and Menor say. You can do whatever you want. So uh, in, in the Leeches show, uh, apparently Cullinane gave Shattuck some advice. Oh, Dave was saying, like, Dave was saying last night, it's like, you and Steve could do something like that. <laughs> All right, stop. Call Colin in. Call Colin in. Call Colin in. I was going to ask you about that. Call us fat idiot now. But wouldn't you like to see that? Shattuck ripping his shirt off and singing uh, Born to be Wild? <laughs> they wouldn't be able to fill that producer's booth. Well, we'd, because of our people. How about the fourth time they do it? The first I'd, time I would build it up you, as a joke. If you never mentioned it? Why, That's what I'm saying. Why Steve and Shattuck together? Well, like a conservative thing, right? Right, I guess. But. You know how big those conservative live shows. Yeah, are. it would be like a politics <laughs> chat, I guess. Hello, hello. What do you? I, I, I just Coleman just played the cut where you said to Tom Shavick that he and Steve Robinson could do what I did the other night. Uh, no, not the specific type of show. I said live events at a comedy place that would hold like two hundred people. Did you? I didn't, I didn't hear. Did you say two people? Like, two or two hundred? Two hundred. Uh, oh, 20? Yeah. Did you say? Yeah. yeah. 200? Uh, no, but I think, I, first of all, it was more of. Great, by the way, great video. Great, a, great video the other night. That landed very, I thought, right, Mike? Really like it, that was good. Yeah. No, you're such a goddamn perfectionist. <laughs> are you as, are you as, depra- I, didn't like are you as the, I didn't like that you didn't see it before. That made me really nervous. After you well, said my that. thing is, you know, like they said it was good. So I was like, play, are you feeling better? Because I don't know how down the dumps you get after a live show. Are you feeling depressed this week, like after the Plymouth show? Well, no? it was tough without the Jonas Brothers in town. I didn't know really oh, that. I forgot. To Olivia. <laughs> he, was, he was so sad <laughs> with the Jonas Brothers. I did the way home. <laughs> Good. Hung over. So what you're, saying, what you're saying is they could do a live show, you're saying? Yeah, like, I, first of all, it was more about Steve, to be honest. It was like the main wire could do a live show and, and Shattuck would host it. A comedy him. club. Steve could, well, yeah. Like, where? <laughs> you want to do it at, like, wine? Where's the... Where's another place that would host like two hundred hundred VFW? Maybe? Steve did say he gave some sure, speech but. that he was he was treated like royalty. He was Remember? a little drunk. That? He That's when he was getting drunk. Oh, oh, like, oh okay. we go. Do you want to comment on this picture of you on Twitter that's been floating around? Bad angle. Mm-hmm. Um, and yep. I also blame Julie. I blame Julie. Okay. Sure. I was going to bed. I was going to bed, mm-hmm. and she texted me. and was like, "Oh, Mike just got here. He wants to see you or some shit." What? And so I never, I, I, I never would have come out and just my glass. <laughs> sure. Well, you also, you also, you also, you also hammered too. And blasted. Oh, like, like, like slurring words. It was weird. Yeah, but that didn't affect anything. I didn't take two You're, hours correct, to get on stage correct. like Robinson. No, they, he was ha- confirm he was hammered, right? Oh, I didn't really talk to him. I didn't see him throughout the night, yeah, he but was I, I just heard about it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Got it. At the bar, were you on stilts? Yeah, well, you were definitely wearing lifts in oh your shoes. Oh, my God. Doing that <laughs> stupid fucking thing. It, no. You did that in the green room. That was ridiculous. Oh, but Mike said, I get the same reaction. I think it's a posture thing. I've been working out. Obviously, Steve oh. gets all the comments. Mike sure. gets all the comments. I've been working out myself. Eight sure. pounds of visceral belly fat gone in two weeks. Oh, so Dave. Ah, that's I just great. Try to tell you. That's and mm-hmm. maybe it's a posture thing. I'm, I'm standing up taller. Mr. Conan, have you gone to the gym? You've grown <laughs> three inches. Yeah, I understand that. I understand that. All right. Goodbye, you dummy. Right. Jesus. There you go. Dave Conan. Okay. Anything else from the Shavix or no? 
Uh, that was pretty. That was, that was, was, that was pretty <laughs> what I found yeah. funny. <laughs> he was at the show. Yeah, he he gave a review. He was just blown away by it. Essentially. Oh, well, yeah. good, good. Thank God, my work is done then. Yes. <laughs> comedy show with Tom Shattuck and Steve Robinson. I would go. <laughs> they get me. Laurel and Hart. <laughs> yeah, the first time they get The third show might be tough. I don't know. Did you ever ask Steve about uh, his beef with No Exit 4? I oh, did. Yeah, we never, <clears throat> he hates them. We didn't I, talk about it on stage, though. Right? No. Yeah. I, I kind of forgot. So, first of all, I love No Exit 4. They're the greatest. Um, and Steve asked him to do something for Main Wire. So he's like, it's something that would have paid them thousands and thousands of dollars. I'm like, I, first of all, I don't, I don't believe that, but okay. Well, thousands, like two thousand or something. Mm, okay. You don't think? I don't know for the Triad We documentary or something. I guess it's government money, baby. That's true. That's a good point. He's a scam artist. <laughs> uh, and they said no. They didn't want to do it. And it's like, well, they said no. I don't, you know, I don't, I don't know what, you know. And Steve's like all mad. Well, when you said uh, why did they say no, he said because they're communists. Yes. <laughs> Which I'm gonna guess they're, they're artists. They're probably liberal, and they probably don't want to do, you know, but. Uh, I am surprised they said no, though. Maybe the guy just doesn't like Steve, by the way. I guess. Or but didn't like... Steve book them originally? Like, Steve found them, right? Or did they? No. no. Dave. No, that was already... What, they weren't scheduled? No, I think I think we had somebody else at first. Okay. Might have been Kevin from Bristol's guys? I believe it was. Yes, I remember that, but I thought maybe Steve found these guys, Yeah, too. maybe. I don't remember. It feels like Cullinane. Okay, maybe. But yeah, I, I mean, I, I don't know. Maybe some guy, maybe they couldn't, I don't know. Maybe they thought it was bullshit. I have no idea. I didn't, I didn't ask them. So. Commies. They're commies. Yeah. Steve was very upset about that. Yeah. I saw he walked off stage a second time. He kind of stood in front of them and was like, you know, staring at them. Like, <laughs> How'd you like that pup, bitches? Yeah. <laughs> uh, what, what, what else, Coleman? Uh, Mike, with Steve in the green room, uh, when I mentioned about having drops or something, and Steve just went like, oh, you, you got drops? <laughs> oh, great. Well, Coleman goes, uh, he, I forget what we were talking about that led to this, but Coleman goes, yeah, like I have four drops. I think Kirk, if, like if Kirk requests them at any time, I just have them ready to go. Right. And Steve goes, oh, four drops. Are you, <laughs> are you all right? <laughs> <laughs> well, I was surprised Steve like tweeted after. He's like, I have to admit, Justin did a good job. Which, I saw that, which, yeah. He's, Steve's your guy. Why he's very, he likes, I'm surprised he's even said that about Justin. Yeah, me He too. likes shitting on all of us. Yeah, why is he so down on you now? <laughs> I think I think he likes, but like when he was, that was late at the night. Oh, he's drunk, Steve? Yeah. Oh, I got you. Yeah, man, Kirk, you, you give me shit, man, but yeah, 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 you're yeah, the yeah. best. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, he wasn't that, he was belligerent. He was like really tough and like, <laughs> just got off to kick their ass, I guess. I'm like, oh, Jesus, Steve, go to bed, would you? Someone asked him if he had looked into... Uh, some dispensary or something, and his answer was no, not yet, because I looked into their ownership and they're not Asian. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Just being honest. Yeah. Uh, what else, Coleman? Anything else from the, any in your notes? Uh, there was when Mutt and uh, Jeff arrived to the green room. One of the first things Mutt had said was, uh, "Yeah, didn't drink tonight. <laughs> uh, too nervous." But he like kind of announced it to the room, oh, almost yeah, like, yeah. "Don't worry, guys, I'm sober well, tonight." Good. That's he, good. Now the. I've listened to you for many years. Mm -hmm. The drinking thing I kind of always thought was a, a bit to an extent yeah. until I found out he was drinking Heineken Zeros, which is an alcoholic's move. <laughs> that is. <laughs> that is definitely an alcoholic's move. <clears throat> yeah, just why don't you have a glass of, why don't you have a water, a Coke or something? I just need the calories. <laughs> <laughs> he just wants that drink. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, he and Jeff, I think they watched what? They watched the game for a while and then... Yes. Game was such a blow after that crazy run that they made their way over. So if it was, if it was there, you know, it was... It was yeah, you always worry that guy. I always say every time one of these shows, like, is this the one where you walk out and like people just don't care? But that was definitely not the case. So, you know, I was good very, very, uh, very satisfying night uh, for sure. We definitely got our redemption. So I don't know what's going to be next. It's going to be way down the line in the fall or something. We'll figure it out. We're going to take our time. No rush. We got show stuff to deal with. And, you know, we'll kind of take our foot off the gas for the next month or two and everyone kind of relax and just focus on the show. Well, in two weeks anyway. I don't know if I'll do anything in Chicago with Jeff. I don't know what the plan is there. I know I have the mini golf Wednesday and Thursday next week. Um, I'll take the rest of this week off, um, which will be nice. It'll be good. We've been oh. kind of going full speed here for the last. And I got sick too, <clears throat> which I still haven't really beaten, which slowed us down for a week or two. So Yeah, I pushed back everything. Everything a week or 10 days or something, which got kind of tight. I was like a week away from being like, fuck, I don't know if this is going to work. I was considering postponing it um didn't you ask julie for different dates too yep yeah. yep asked her to keep that quiet that's good <laughs> that's good also Jesus. uh I think she was in fucking front of montante good thing it wasn't <laughs> the open. previous weekend because it would have been postponed yeah that's what, my, that's what everyone was saying there it was a big ice drum but but then at least like it's like 
it's not in your hands. Yeah. You just, you know, there are, there are dates open, so. But as it turned out, it worked out fine. You might want to, if Julie is going to work for the show, you might want to set up, there could be a, like a reverse sexual harassment thing happen because she's very sexual. Oh, oh she, she was like talking off. about she was like, you. Oh, God. Talk about who? You? I, I hope oh, he takes God. his shirt off. Oh, and that was at 10 in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> well, you would know, Mike. You were there. Yeah, sure Been there for an hour at that point. <laughs> yeah. She's gassing I'm up opening Steve. up. <laughs> morning, boys. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what took you so long? Jesus. She was what to Steve? What did you say? She was Steve from Gloucester. She was... Sexualizing say, him? Saying that he was looking oh, great. Like, oh, yes. He's, he's much more handsome than I thought. He really yeah. is. In yeah. person, he's amazing. Wow. Yeah. After a while, you're going to work on that. Um, but yeah, it was funny when... Casey said to us that Casey was saying that Steve made it clear that it was his former wife. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Like it's, Past relationship. Yeah, the divorces were good. Like, <laughs> the ink is dry. If that's, if that's the roadblock, <laughs> we're good. The highway is open. Yeah. Never so, mind that you're married with yeah. children. Yeah, who cares about those? You take care of that. I, I caught some of that exchange between the two of them when they were on stage after rehearsing, and I guess Casey had shown Steve uh, her baby, her kid, yeah, yeah. and he goes... Uh, well, since you're sharing yours, I guess I'll show you mine. <laughs> Just unzips his fly. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, that rehearsal was okay. But I was like, oh, Steve is really going to butcher this. It was that you knew, realized you're like, we can rehearse this 10,000 more He'll times. Never, it's never I, going to be. I give him credit, though, because I kind of thought with Steve's demeanor, he might be like, I, I, I can't. You yeah, know I, I, thought, mean? Like, I thought that not too. Go through with it. I thought that too. I had a backup plan. So I'm glad he did. Yeah. Oh, what was the back backup plan? Uh, I was gonna have her do some of Andy Mayo's stand up about cargo oh, shorts okay. with yeah, no yeah. context and then just leave. Gotcha. But I knew this would land better, so but I also knew Steve like push come to shove, he he would want to do it. Yeah. I mean it's just how, how do you turn that down? Like I said, it. like what other show starts with this guy writing this letter? Right. And then three months six months later, whatever, he's on stage with Casey Smith doing a fucking <laughs> dance routine. So the crowd was going nuts. Let's go. Ugh. You were down on Dave a little bit before the show. Tell a name. It was? Yes. Well, Dave, well, well Mike Dave was saying this too. Dave he was, was, well, he I was, was like full Dave mode where I was like, what's going on here? I didn't interact with him. I was getting it all secondhand. But yeah. like Julie and other people kept telling me that Dave was like, yeah, I don't know if I'm coming tonight. Yeah, he's doing stuff, that stuff thing. Like it's that. like, you're going to be there. Yeah. You're going to be get drunk. You're going to hang out. There's no way you're not going to be there. But he's kind of doing that. Like, yeah, I don't know. Like, yeah, what times are that? Like, where is it? Is it in Portland again? I'm like Dave, just show up and do your fucking thing. Like enough. You want to be there. Everyone wants to see you. I always like seeing Dave, but for he got for, some booze, huh? For people, uh, I kind of thought there were more Steve ones though. I thought Steve started out cheers, but I think Steve's story was so bad that I think the audience turned on him. Just so people have an idea of uh, uh, my my demeanor at these some of these meetups, I was talking to someone for mm -hmm. a good amount of time, mm -hmm. just like it was a regular thing, <laughs> and then like. Five minutes and I realized it was Cullen in. Was oh, really? Like, he must be wondering why I'm being so polite to him. That's funny. <laughs> well, I think at that bar after, Mike, you said, like, uh, Coleman, you kind of have a Cullenane air to you tonight. Oh, really? I, I didn't understand what you meant by that. Uh, sort of a, a swagger to you when you were done. You felt like you had done your job the way Cullenane had, you know? I don't know. Was I wrong about that? I, I don't really think Let's so. Just focus on it later. <laughs> <laughs> it <was> shit. <laughs> well, Friday Night Grady's, I saw Mike is basically pinned against the wall talking to people. Like, it's like, he can't get out of there. I was like, I, I think I said the joke. Somebody's like, go, go get Mike. Like, well, he wants to fucking leave. <laughs> no, I was fine. I, mm. I enjoyed it. I mean, you're talking like Pelletier for like 20 minutes. Like, he, he doesn't want to do that. I'll talk to people all, if people will come up to me and say hello, yeah. I'll talk to right. them. I just can't see anyone, so... Yeah, we had a good set for the after the via for the VIP. We might kind of do like a Q and A for an hour, fifteen minutes or something. Yes, and that worked out well. Yeah, like that was fine. You could hear everything, obviously. Then. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 So that was, but it's just, it's hard when you do it because I think Mutt was concerned too during the run through, <clears throat> um, the rehearsal. He's like, I was like, I can't hear myself over the band. I was like, that's kind of the problem when you're there. Yeah. Like, so he went out and heard. It. He's like, oh, you can hear it totally fine. And so, well, sometimes for me too, it's like you'll kind of throw a question to the audience maybe or something. Right. I can't tell if you're looking at me. Right, so I'm right, like, right. is he talking to me? Fuck. Right. Yeah. It's, it, it's, it, it's it was size like that. I think it's just the way it is. Like, yeah. you know, generally bands aren't talking to each other at these live shows. So no, I get, I guess if like, I assume if podcast or something do a theater that size, maybe because they're all sitting next to each other. Right. Yeah. Be, right. Each other. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. yeah. And it's not like, there's, there's not, not a band. Running around. Not, right, yeah, right, right. It's not right. crazy. There. There's not right. video stuff. And, um, and there's no, people don't really cheer during, Live podcast. 
Right. I guess so. I guess, yeah. It's a, right. The well, I mean, like a normal live, but people aren't like, they're not talking on stage and everyone's like, fuck yeah! Yeah, you don't think yeah. Let's go, Kurt! Yeah, blind yeah, yeah. Mike! Blind Mike! Yeah. 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 You got a nice uh, cheer, Justin. I did. Yes, it was very nice. That was nice. People like you. Coleman, eventually they'll like Coleman, I think. That's what I'm saying. I think that was Comes a good. Circles. I think ultimately mm. that was a good thing for Coleman, no? Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah. you need yeah, you need a night like that. I don't know if he's people think of him as part of the show yet. Too new, I think. That's that's a that's a big step in that direction for sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, um, yesterday was Coleman's six month anniversary with the show. Wow, amazing! Ooh, Look at that. And I didn't Incredible. get you anything. Incredible. <laughs> oh, you missed Peach's video too. Ah, that's yes. right. She got fresh out of the she hospital. Got that was the biggest boo of the night. Miss Peaches? Yeah. Yeah, that's true. People did boo Miss Peaches. No, but Dave did this because Dave tried to kill her. He tried to like, kill her with, with gum. No, it was the Hershey's Corporation. <laughs> yeah, it's it's like one of those uh, those mothers that like pretends to like make their child sick. For She's in the hospital. Yeah, what's that Munchausen? called? Munchausen? Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. What's her name? Gypsy Rose. That yeah, right. That right was her that, thing. Yes. Yeah, yeah, she yeah. just left her husband, who the guy. Save for him. Save for him. Get back home. I'm excited for that story. But yeah, let's just focus on the live show today, please. God Almighty, I have to look at you guys. What do you guys do for the next couple of weeks? Uh, well, I'm cleaning up the office a little bit. Okay. Um, I don't know if you saw that in the other room over there. Uh, yeah, it looks nice. It's yeah. pretty good. Let's I got to I got to bring that dozen trophy to New York. Um, no, I'm not ready for that yet. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and then just keep it on. I'm what? I'm gonna be working on the vlog from this whole weekend, basically. So this for two week, weeks. Uh, no, no, no. Like for this week, it'll gotcha. drop this week. Yeah. Okay. All right. Good. Good. Sure, we'll have a producer show or something. Yeah. Oh, oh don't work so hard. Whole producer show. It's unbelievable, Mike. What's going on, blindmike.net? Uh, well, as I uh, announced at that VIP, Lauren Compton. Oh, is tomorrow? that tomorrow? Tomorrow. Unbelievable. Very excited. What time is that drop? Finally you know? coming out. I assume maybe, I assume it just goes up to midnight today. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, okay. I don't know for sure. How long is it going to be? It's like half an hour, 40 minutes. Um. Okay. Okay, good. Yeah, you said in the queue, in the VIP thing, you said it was a very polite conversation. Um. And the producers loved it. Po- Oh yeah. yeah, the producers are very they're good and she is a great laugher. Right. So I felt very comfortable. Uh I I don't think it's going to get mocked a lot other than maybe that like mm. I'm probably confident, which is right. hilarious, I right. guess. Right. But, but I thought I thought she and I had good uh good chemistry, you know? Good, good, I might good. be co-hosting that show soon, who knows. I would think so. Yeah. I would think so. And then um uh, for why are you laughing? We're doing. Oh, I actually wanted to know if you had any suggestions for this. We're doing uh, Carrot Top this week, and then next week I was thinking of doing um, the worst movie sequ- comedy movie sequels of Ooh, all time. There's some good ones. Any underrated ones I might not have thought of? What do you I, have? Know, I know the obvious, like uh, I mean, like the Meet the Parents, uh, right. Hangover, Caddyshack Two. Caddyshack Two is the worst movie ever made. That's what a lot of people like, say. You don't really just do a Caddyshack Two. Airplane Two. A I kind of people like suggested. part of Airplane Two. Some of Airplane Two is actually funny. William Shatner's very funny in it. Okay. Um, Zoolander was terrible. Yeah. Weekend at Bernie's 2 was bad. That's Grown Ups 2 was bad. But I don't count. Grown Ups 1 is bad. So that's, but that's, like, Jack so just people shows. suggested movies like that. I don't really count it because Grown Ups isn't like a classic right, movie. Right, right. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, hmm. Anchorman 2 is not great. Anchorman 2 is pretty bad. Yeah, but I don't know. I just did the Will Ferrell episode. Of, the, of Will Ferrell's bombs, I don't think Anchorman 2 is the worst. Right, right. I mean, Cash Act 2 is the worst movie like, yeah. legitimately ever made. We so, Birdies 2 is really bad. I didn't know if you knew of any like that, because like, I think there's some people that probably don't know Cash Act 2 exists. Yeah, you know? completely bombed. Yeah. Uh, the Vacation movie, some people suggested. Oh, European Vacation's bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Mall Cop 2 is all time. <laughs> That's well, another one, though. This doesn't really... Do you understand the exercise, you idiot? <laughs> yes, but, like... There's He's people that his favorite like movies. Mo- no, Grown like, Ups and Paul Blart. <laughs> Mall Cop 1 is, like, relatively decent. But, yeah, but I mean, do you understand his premise, though? The worst. Right. Do you think Paul Blart 1 is a classic? It's not bad. <coughs> right. Oh, he listens to that podcast, remember? I do, yeah. Oh, that's right. Once a year, right? Yeah. yeah. When is it? Uh, Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, that's right. That's would, right. Would, that like, do us blood? would like the American Pie Presents count? I'll, I'm going to mention that, but I, I think the original American Pies right. are actually like of any comedy trilogy or whatever like the you i can understand the reason for them it's like high school then college like i, I get, get that right well I, I mean like the you know the presents oh ones. that's th- those are terrible yeah is like, eugene levy like all of them yeah, yeah he would always yeah. do a cameo i kind of like that he did that yeah why not get paid yeah i know there was a splash two t-o-o oh dumb and dumber is another one yeah dumb and dumber there yeah, was yeah. a tv movie that hanks wasn't in the daryl hannah wasn't in there's movies like that 
like Mannequin 2. Again, yeah, okay. not, you know, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. there was that thing for a while where it was just direct to video in the 80s. Like, like, like I think Meatballs is a classic. Okay. And there's like six Meatball sequels. Oh, see, like that yeah, I didn't yeah, know. Just okay, like crazy, all right, like not connected at all to yeah. any of it. What was the other one? Police Academy? There's a trillion. Bunch of, of Police Academy oh, sequels. Um, yeah. Some people, what's the Mission to Eddie, Moscow? The one Eddie Murphy just made. Oh, Coming, God, to, America. Coming to America too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, Queen. Yeah. Yes, yeah. That's a. Borat too. Oof, that's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah. Speaking of, well, I thought it was actually very funny. I was thinking of people who've kind of, like Larry David in some ways has kind of gone to the woke world a little bit. I, I didn't know about this at all. I saw some tweets and I actually watched it this morning. Bruce Springsteen was actually very funny on Curb Your Enthusiasm last night. He's in it. He's in it again? He's, he's like in it in it. Oh, really? Oh, wow. He's like a friend. I'll have to watch. Yeah, he's like in like probably, he's in one scene, it's like five or six minutes. You would think that if it wasn't Bruce? Yes, no, I, because I particularly find Bruce to be a very funny guy. Okay. So I was amazed that he was actually, like, you watch it, like, oh, he could be like a guy who was on, like, eight times in show history. Oh, interesting. Just, you know, but there's only two episodes left. But well, Add Larry to the list. Just another guy. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> it's true. Is it heading yeah, right. towards, uh, like, a Seinfeld finale? Like, with Larry just in jail? Is that the... I don't know. I mean, it looks like they're... I, I haven't watched much this year. I just watched it because he was on. I wouldn't no Tracy mind. Ullman, thank God. I wouldn't mind that just because everyone shit on the finale, so, right. and he liked it. So I that's true. I wouldn't mind that. That pop tart trailer, Jesus. It's. Uh, do you see who's in it? Who? You'll 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 enjoy this. You don't know who's playing John F. Kennedy? No, who is? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I shudder to tell you, I Kevin Lemanowitz. I shouldn't have brought it up. <laughs> who is it? Michael Pirioli? Uh, comedian, I'm a fan of. From Boston. Comedian or fan of from Boston? Oh, Bill Burr's Mike Kennedy. Yeah. yeah. Oh God. Which Is that I don't the even... trailer? Yeah. I saw. Watched it. It's hot. So I played it on the show and I stopped it. Like Craig didn't recognize, so I don't know if he's unrecognizable. Maybe. But... Oh, okay. Jeez. That's funny. Yeah. I saw Iron Head. He was there. He was there. I saw him. Oh yeah. I spoke to him. How, how was that? It was fine. Good. So how you doing, buddy? He said good. 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 Much personality as ever. <laughs> So that's our way. He's like, I'm a fan. That's why I'm here. I'm like, it's all right, Craig. Okay. I got you, Craig. It's, I don't really hate you. Not dumb. Yeah. Take it easy. Smart. Dude. Take it easy. Relax, buddy. Jesus. You seem good. So, yeah. Uh, but it's funny. Like I said, you turn around like every 50, you, know, you see 30 faces you don't know. You're like, oh, there's fucking Cinema Lords. Right. Just angry at the world. <laughs> this poor girl. Doing this poor girlfriend, out of too. <laughs> I walk over there. I'm saying hi, everybody. And he said something I couldn't hear because people were talking. He's like, what? She turned around. She's like. You can't hear him. All he does is talk. I was like, ooh, this looks like a fun table. I'm starting to think this kid's father has a point. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> no kidding. Jesus. He was, so he was super mad about that, huh? Big time. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, I'm not sure why. He hates why. Steve from Gloucester. Gus said that like, like, he was motherfucking like, Steve from Gloucester. Like, he must the have rest hated of the, the night. Casey scene then. The Casey <laughs> Jesus. Because yeah. Steve was part of your video too. Yeah. Yeah. Jeez. I should have had Cinema Wars guy instead. I cut out a part of that video that was very on the nose. I told you to cut it. Out. Yes. I mean, you cut it. Out. I told you to cut it. Well, out. I'm just just saying the people that saw it that there was a part of the video that was very on the nose. People who saw it just know there was something else that you didn't see. Yes. <laughs> yeah. It was just it, just, it, it was fine. It worked better without it. It's all those things are always better. Like like I was saying to you guys, like you just Short the more sweet. you cut out, the better it usually is. Mm. You know, like that video, open video killed. If it was 1850, it wouldn't have. You don't want people yeah. checking their watches. <laughs> yeah, that's all. It's like anything else. You just keep trimming it down until it, you know. We did that with something else, too. I forget. Oh, the VIP, uh, the uh, RIP. In, in memoriam. Yeah, like that yeah. makes sense. I've got a huge pop. I know, but you know what you forget about? And we say, well, I always say this to Dave in, in the past is when you do these videos, like I even forget still, like someone's gonna, like when Mutt shows up at Milton's, there's going to be a cheer, so you can't hear the next line. Yeah, like you couldn't hear what Bubba said. Yeah, that, I know. which is disappointing because he might have the funniest line. Yeah, the thing. My, yeah. my parents were like, "What? What did Bubba say in that?" And I was yeah. like, "Oh, he said uh, he, he's been known to touch kids, <laughs> right. touches kids all the time." <laughs> Your parents are okay with it, though. Yeah, my my dad calls me yesterday. Enablers, he's, yeah. He's like, he's like, he's like, he's like, you got to show Bubba the video, uh, a Ronald Reagan, the Ronald Reagan thing. Oh, Jim Murray, too, very funny. I yeah, think that's very too. funny. I was like, yeah, I don't know if Bubba needs to. That was him. That was Reagan. No, it was what did I say? Ronald Reagan, yeah, of oh, course. Okay, yeah. I was like, I don't, I don't know if Bubba needs to hear Reagan talking about him dying and then his grandson being a child molester. But <laughs> yeah. he was like, he's like, oh no, he, he, he gets the show. And I was like, yeah, I don't think Bubba gets the show. He did the video. Well, 
I so I told him yeah. <laughs> beforehand. I was like, "Hey, we're doing a video where Kirk is a is a new Boston cop, and he's going after a pedophile, and he needs what? his old Boston cop to say he touches kids all the time. Oh, that's, that's he's like, known to that's touch like, you kids. You can't do that to old people. It's like, like fucking with them. That's not good. <laughs> Can I fuck with old people? I was. Jesus. It'd be great if we used him in a real documentary. <laughs> yeah, <it's okay. laughs> Jesus, that's funny. Well, there you go. Uh, any, any anything you regret? Any anything you guys feel like you messed up? Or you feel good. Oh, them? Them first. <laughs> I, <laughs> Mikey did it all. <laughs> I will say, I did have a mini panic attack when I found out Kyle wasn't going to be there, the sound guy. Oh, so that's... Oh, yeah, he bailed Co- last minute. Colleen's enemy bailed. Yeah. He had the COVID <laughs> shit. I got the jab and was not feeling well. Yeah, yeah and it was like, oh, oh, th- like this is where it starts to spiral. <laughs> you, should, you shouldn't... I mean, I don't get to tell Kyle what to do, but you shouldn't get that the day before or shit, like a... Like, uh, I wonder if he did. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I, who, yeah. Somebody was saying he was being kind of bitchy the whole time. Yeah, like throughout all of our emails and stuff. I thought he was fine. I, I just think he has think, an air about him. I think that's just how like, a lot like of a brother. these people. Condescending. Yes. I think that's how a lot of theater Chris people Coleman, are. Call yeah. These theater people. Yes. He's like, oh, Olivier? What do you mean? No, I just think people <laughs> people who, who like work in the theater are very like. Yeah, but he doesn't work on Broadway. I'm just saying that. It's those tech guys. Clemmer's dad was like that. Is that right? Yeah, that's what I was told. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, the. But, uh, but it's also that that show is just so different than anything else they do there. Yeah, yeah. That was the one thing I didn't know was the because the lighting went down for the first video and then none of the others. Yeah, what happened there? The lighting? Yeah, we, like, they dimmed the lights for like one video, but then not the rest. I thought they were gonna do that for all of them, and then they just didn't. They just it was that I first one. That. I, yeah, it sounds like we all agree on that. Probably should. Yeah, just yeah. It's better when it's dark for those. I think. Especially for me, I feel very exposed. True, that's true. <laughs> yeah, I wonder what you see during that show. It's gonna, Nothing. It's gonna be. That's like a good. Uh, I thought we uh, should get. We should get some like a VR like, experience. Like a day before, yeah. People should, fans should be able to get like oh, see it through mic be, size. Yeah. And, yeah, that actually be a good VR. Yeah, thing. let's work yeah. on that. That's a, maybe for Mike and the Minifans. fans. Yeah, yeah I'll see <laughs> Everyone that. wears Mike yeah. goggles. I like that. What were you gonna say? <laughs> Uh, Kyle Timms, the kid from Foreplay. That was a funny I tweet. I thought he had a very good tweet. Yeah, I didn't see it till last night. I, I, it I look like uh, the, only white the, the guy. one white guy in a New Orleans jazz <laughs> Yeah, which is <laughs> true. <laughs> kind of looking around like, oh, this is kind of interesting. You should put a piano in front of me like uh, Paul Schaefer. That's a good idea. Mm. Why don't you do that? We'll do that. <laughs> uh, all right, so we'll be back here two weeks from today, I believe. We'll be back in the studio. Um, yeah, so I'm off for the rest of the week, and uh, I'll be in Chicago. I'll, I mean, we'll be up to. I, I imagine Jeff and I might do some show. Maybe I don't. I don't know. I don't know how busy we're going to be. It's a huge tournament. There's, there's like 40 people playing in it. It's Wednesday and Thursday. So, so. did you have any interest in commenting on that Clemmer video before we? Uh, I quote tweeted it. Oh, I didn't know if you wanted to talk about play it on the show. No, yeah, <laughs> we could we could play it. Play it. It was him and Smitty. Smitty, yeah. <clears throat> Wait, you talking about him and Smitty or him and Rico? Oh, that was him and Smitty today, no? Wasn't it? It was him and Smitty. Rico, Rico was there, Rico's a different think. video. Oh, was it? Okay. Rightful reasons. They are uh, a powerhouse. But the money line opened at 188 is now 170. And the money, the money speaks. We have 44% of the bets and 97% of the money, including all. Most of the sharp money on the San Francisco Giants. What do you like about Keaton Wynn? The guy had an ERA of 4.8, I think a triple-A last year. So for everybody Pace else last so year. So for everybody else who is listening, um, I followed the money on this one. Right. So the money line so went from 188 to 170. It's the biggest uh, underdog of the day, I think, uh, to get value. And uh, 44% of the bets and 97% of the money, including the sharp money, is on the San Francisco Giants. That is what I like about this. That's game. the only thing you like. There's nothing you like about the matchup. So, for everyone who's listening, I understand. Well, we heard. We yeah, heard. I followed the money. Did you hear what I said? I said, <laughs> was there anything else you liked? Listen to what I'm saying. Is there anything else you like? Don't talk down, you motherfucker. I said, is there anything else you like? So for the audience that was listening and everybody else on the Do you know what the word else means? Well, that's yeah. that. When I heard that, I quote tweeted Which that. word do you understand? Right. I quote tweeted and said, I like this Johnny Carson better than this Kirk Minahan, if I'm being honest. And the clever buddy, he's like, oh, I guess you invented all this. He's very, very fired up with the stupid money on him. Yeah, was he mad when he tweeted that at you? No, I don't. Oh, okay. I, was like, so, I, I just like that he called Smitty a... Uh, it was a Motherfucker? Very, oh, no, no, he called him a blockhead. A blockhead, yeah. Isn't <laughs> like, he a like, blockhead? It's like Lucy Van Pelt or whatever her name was. <laughs> is there an unnamed show this week? Uh, I think there is, yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure I'll be part of it, but there should be one, yeah. Ooh, gotcha. 
Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. Who fills in for you? Or we'll find out, maybe. I don't David know. I can reach out. I'll see if it, Cinema Lord. where I'm going to be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be great. Just let him do it by himself. <laughs> All right, Ryan first. What are your thoughts on Steve from Gloucester? <laughs> uh, so, yeah. All right. So, uh, boys, thank you very much. Great job. Mike, great job. Uh, big win for us. Um, hopefully, I get my voice fully back. Whether you hear from me next week in Chicago or the week after, uh, we will be around. The Kirk Minahan Show is has conquered Portland for a second time. Uh, I'll give away any hints, but I will say the next live big show may be a celebration of somebody turning a certain age for the second time, Justin. Okay. Yeah. That's what I would say. August 31st. That's right. There we go. Damn right. Damn right. <laughs> Circle your calendars. Uh, I think I think I know where we're going to be, too. That's all I'm going to say. I think. I have an idea. But we'll find out. Uh, yeah. And we'll tell and again. Great show. I'm in the fans. Un, like, I'm all weekend. Unbelievable. People who, you know, I always think of these two or three idiots, but then there's 300 people come up to me and say, oh, the show's great. Thanks for, thanks so much. Thanks for, and I get uncomfortable with that, too. I know it could be an asshole to people's faces. Um, but I am grateful. Um, and yeah, you know, we're gonna keep doing it. Hopefully, Coleman will figure it out. You know, by the next show, we'll see. I'm taking notes about Mama Kay's daughter while I'm trying to do a fucking show. <laughs> it was one of the highlights. I mean, really. If you think back, I was, was excited. Was a fourteen year old was there. <laughs> it was wild. She knew I. She's someone new that had come out of nowhere. There's a lot, there's a lot of people you've never seen before there. The I, I knew a good deal of them though. In the theater. Uh, no, I was thinking specifically Gritties. Is this, is Coleman going to go on like a, listen, I'm definitely not gay now. Oh, are you trying to talk to her <laughs> or something? How old is she? Is she your age? She's my I was age, scoping yeah. at the oh, ass. Oh, you talk her up? That's why I'm sure. Uh, it seemed like Mama K was maybe trying to force Was something. she an attractive girl? Uh, she was good. Yeah. Decent. Yeah. Good. Okay. Turn a boy like you. I'm not, not my type. What was that? Not my type. Oh, not your type. Yeah. Clit's not oh, big oh, enough? Well, yeah, yeah, sure. That's true. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Love him uh, fat. <laughs> we understand. We understand. Okay, well, then, uh, Mike, uh, goodbye. We'll see you in a couple weeks. All right. Uh, we'll talk to you later. Goodbye.